Hey YouTube, willkommen zurück bei Metal Gear Solid 3. Und das erste, was wir jetzt machen, ist natürlich Ozolot in die Birne schießen. Tja, das war's. Ozolot ist tot, wir haben das Spiel gewonnen. Du wirst ein Zeitparadoxon schaffen. Das war übrigens der Colonel, der gerade gesprochen hat. Und ja, da das ja der junge Ozelot ist und wir den gekillt haben, passiert Metal Gear Solid 1 und äh, 2 nicht. Und 4 nicht. Gut. Auch so ein Mini-Secret hier kennt, wie gesagt, natürlich jeder, aber ja. Aber ich glaube, da war sogar noch was. Wenn wir den hier anschießen, so mal so ein bisschen so, so bang, oh, und, 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 und oh, mal so in die Hand so, ne? Wenn wir den wiedersehen, ist da auch ein bisschen was an, an dem anders. Ah, kann man den... Machen wir den Schalldämpfer weg. So. Den hier betäuben wir mal fürs Leben. Mit einer dicke Nadel in den Hintern. Der kriegt's von vorne. Weißt du was? Voll in die Wunde nochmal so ein Betäubungsfeier. Ja, ich wollte hier noch ein bisschen eigentlich suchen, aber ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass, dass äh, die Katze ihn hier direkt triggert. Wenn man direkt vor der Tür steht. Ich dachte, man muss reingehen und dann. Ja gut, gibt es hier irgendwas? Nö. Nix. Hier drunter? Uh, das ist eine Schlange. Apropos Schlange, unter unserer Lebensenergie gibt es noch einen Balken. Das ist unsere Ausdauer. Und da wir ein bisschen wenig davon haben, wird es glaube ich mal Zeit, einen kleinen Snack zu uns zu nehmen. Was essen wir denn? Essen wir mal einen Netzpython. Noch nicht gegessen, Geschmack unbekannt. Tasty. Tasty. Und äh, wenn man ganz viel von einer Sorte isst, sagen wir mal, da gibt es jetzt Pilze und die schmecken total furchtbar. Wenn man ganz viele Pilze von derselben Sorte isst, dann gewöhnt man sich an den Geschmack. Und der findet das dann nicht mehr so ekelhaft. Und das gibt uns dann ein bisschen mehr Ausdauer zurück. Auch schlechtes Essen ist genießbar, wenn man im Dschungel ist. Das ist das. Oh, und ein Vogel. Nam, nam, nam. Hier gibt es sonst nichts mehr. Und dann haben wir ja, jetzt schrauben wir einen Schalli wieder drauf. Und wir jumpen einfach runter. Wo ist er denn jetzt hingelaufen? Bin ich da? Wo ist er hingelaufen? Hat er das gesagt? Nö. Oh oh, müssen wir wieder zurück. Da kann er nirgendwo hingelaufen sein, also muss es jetzt zurück sein. So cool. Tulino wird nur. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot Unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. Uh oh. What is it? That's what they were making you build. 
Yes, the Shagohod. The treading behemoth. Shagohod. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Ja gut, warum bringen wir den nicht hier direkt um? Wenn das ohne dich nicht geht. Also lieber dich umbringen wie einen dritten Weltkrieg äh, zu provozieren. Was Shagohard. Ende voll an Geohort. <lacht> Wer kennt ihn noch? Ich meine, es ist wirklich nicht nötig, dass ihr so langsam über die Brücke geht. Ja. The Boss. Da ist sie. Good work, Jack. Jack, what are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Was mit Smirk war das denn gerade? Bienen! Hornets! Oder Hornets? Ja, fast auf Erde. Friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five mm. of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara, Kuabara.
Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Peter cooked. Voll geschockt. Oh my god. Coilless nuclear warheads. Uh oh. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Zack. Ne. Hätten wir die Knarre auseinandergenommen. Nase gebrochen, Arm gebrochen. You seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. Die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Glaub nicht, dass ich dir die Hand geben will. Ding, Rippe gebrochen. Halswirbel has been rejected. Wirbelsäule gebrochen. Wasser in den Lungen. Are we done here? Now on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. The gebrochen man. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. 
I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. <laughs> Wie dem Tutorial Video am Cheaten sind. Seht ihr das? 999 von 999. So viel haben wir gar nicht. You'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Ja, und dann kommen wir zum zweiten Part von dem Spiel, was das anders macht wie die anderen Metal Gears. Und zwar müssen wir uns heilen. Wir kriegen verschiedene Verletzungen. Kugeln in der Brust und whatever, Blutegeln, dies, das und äh, das nackt an unserer Maximalenergie und an unserer Ausdauer, bis wir die ganzen Sachen behandeln. So, Schnittwunde, schlimme Schnittwunde, Blutung, kein Verband und noch nicht desinfiziert. Also, was macht man? Erstmal desinfizieren. Nach dem Desinfizieren machen wir... Nähen war das? Und dann ein Verband. Was noch? Also es blutet noch. Das heißt, wir brauchen Styptik. Yay, eine Wunde ist geheilt. Jetzt noch 30.000 andere. Wieder Schnittwunde. Also, Blutung. Ne, desinfizieren. Blutung stoppen. Äh, zunähen. Verband anlegen. Auch eine Schnittwunde wieder. Es ist egal, welche Reihenfolge, aber machen wir mal so eine richtige Reihenfolge. Weil wir sind ja hyperrealistisch hier. Desinfizieren. Blutung stoppen. Zunähen. Verbandagieren. Hier auch wieder. Stoppen. Äh. Ne, wir haben erst desinfiziert, dann gestoppt. <lacht> Genäht. Verbandagiert. Knochenbruch. Brauchen wir nur einen Verband an den Rippen und eine Schiene an den Rippen? Schiene an den Rippen? Geht das? Naja. Sieht man eigentlich den gebrochenen Knochen? Ah ja, da sieht man, dass er kaputt ist. So, hier auch wieder eine Schiene und ein Verband. Jetzt sind wir da wie neu. Und zuerst müssen wir uns den Arm wieder einrenken. Ne? Und 3, 2, 1. Zum Glück muss ich, ist mir sowas noch nie passiert. Ich hatte noch nie etwas gebrochen. Oder etwas, das wieder eingerenkt werden musste oder so. Uah, allein dieses Geräusch. Dieses Brrr, oder uh, wenn jemand eine Schulter ausgerenkt hat und die muss man wieder einrenken. Und so, bleh. Ja, ich war mal ein sehr vorsichtiges Kind. Wenn ich runtergefallen bin, ist mir nie was passiert. Vielleicht habe ich, habe ich, wie, wie heißt ein Wolverines Knochen nochmal? Adamantium Skelett? Wer weiß. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Shit. 
God. Zum Weihnachtsgeschenk. Eine <lacht> PS5 war geil. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. Na, der hat mal gepupst. Ozelot riecht alles. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. So fast, my dear. A kiss of death? Are you KGB? We may be able to use her. Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> For the Alamo. Colonel! Ballert der Psycho erstmal eine Atombombe rein. Boom. Wir speichern. Yes. Ui. Schalten Sie Ihre Konsole nicht aus. Ah, ich spiele am PC. Konami Präsent. Hier fängt der James Bond Film an. Schon dreimal hintereinander Kojima. 
Hieß es nicht, die haben den aus dieser Edition irgendwie rausgeschnitten oder so? Dass nicht sein Name in den Credits steht? Offenbar war das Bullshit. Weil da ist er schon wieder und schon wieder und schon wieder. So die Credits komplett steht nur Hideo Kojima. <lacht> Tester, deutscher Übersetzer und sowas. <lacht> Englische Synchro, alles von Kojima gemacht. <lacht> Konami war Kojima. Äh, uh, ja. Besonders das Ende voll James Bond, dieses du, 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 du. So, eine Woche später, heißt August 1964, Arctic Ocean erstmal. So, nach einer Woche haben die direkt so ein volles crazy Raumschiff gebaut, anstatt äh, mit andere Flugzeuge. Drone Oil Pressure und Voltage sind nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. Habt ihr gehört, wenn wir die Mission verkacken, dann werden wir erschossen. Sir, how does it feel to be a patient in ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero. Frame rate von der Videoaufnahme ist 0,1. Fox is going to die. No, this fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuban. Cuban cigar. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. 
President Johnson? President. Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Borisovich oh, Volgin. Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. Zwei. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? Abby. It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. Tricks? The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? 
Nothing means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal. Ob die sich wirklich so unterhalten? If you fail, it will mean also, the mich mal voll interessieren, wie sich so Weltmächte unterhalten und wie die miteinander Put reden. Simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved ist in that explosion. Locker, oder and eliminate ist das eher so locker Scheiße? Right. The higher ups have decided yeah. that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You're you are the last only apprentice. one capable. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. Million knöpfe on. That's it. They've also put us in oh. touch with a couple of insiders. Oh, insiders? Yimi Kuchichi? What's that? There was Yimi a defection Kuchichi? in September 1960. Ah, oh, sweet Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Vulcan's ranks. Also arrange for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Control. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Keiner hat was gehört, keiner hat was gesehen. Vor Snake würde jetzt irgendwie so keine Ahnung Schlangengeräusch machen. This is Snake. Do you read me? Do you Loud read and clear. Me? Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss Yummy. in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? 
Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based <laughs> on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency Badum. is 140.85. Zero zero oh, zero zero. I almost zero. forgot. <laughs> Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Yay! Is this her last chance too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the virtuous mission. One four five point seven three. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same. One four zero point nine six. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, who are the Patriots and Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo, gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Und nach dieser Superheldenlandung und diesen langen Cutscenes und lange, lange Codec-Konversationen beenden wir den Part hier auch. Bis zum nächsten Part. Und der sieht ganz schön gelangweilt aus irgendwie. Naja. Ciao, ciao. Oh, noch hier? Cool, dass du das Video bis zum Ende geschaut hast. Lass Jill nicht zu lange warten, klick doch hier für das nächste Video. Und vielleicht ein Abo dalassen? <lacht> Vielen Dank und bis zum nächsten Mal.